Yeah, there is someone inside. You think I can? You think I can go? Hey, someone, someone. Yeah. We maybe can go to interview some homeless to see what's going on in this city, you know. So let's see what what we can catch. Hello. Good morning. What's up? Can I ask you some question? It's okay to ask you some question. Okay, man. Have a blessed day. So we tried the first one. It's not uh, not success, but we will try more and more and more. So I asked the security person there. He told me that there is plenty of them here in this street, but because it's Sunday, so they are maybe going to pray to God to save them. I don't know. They are in the church or something. <laughs> Look like these bushy bushes have something to tell us, you know. Let's see what, what will come from the bush today. I hear some oish. I hear some voices from the bush. Let's see what we can catch here. What? Hey, buddy. Can I come? What's up, man? Nice meeting you. What's up? I'm just trying to look for... I don't know if you are, but I'm looking for homeless. Uh, to interview them, try to help them understand their life and all those things yes. are you homeless no 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 i'm happy for you my brother what's that uh, just just hold on just, uh, hold just on. chilling yes. put your music ah uh, you have a phone call okay answer answer my brother answer it's okay but tell me where are you from so, i'm from uganda it's south uganda Yes, he's not a homeless, but but from the other side, you see that you have a bread, you have a tree bread. See, it's strange. He has like everything. So, if you're not homeless, you travel with bread? I don't know, man. Mm, no. I don't know. Maybe. But anyway, we need to put the focus on homeless. So let's continue and try to catch other homeless. <laughs> I'm international YouTuber. I'm trying to look in for homeless and make a video and interview them and try to help. Help, yes. yeah so i think it's it's a homeless house i don't know he's, he's homeless yeah you're homeless yeah it's okay with you that i will ask a question you don't have to video me but you know what's up can i ask you a question so i'm looking for homeless oh. i'm trying to interview homeless and to help them oh. where i can find them stop it get some help it's, it's a very big challenge traveling Africa because the uh, majority of the countries, first of all, the people who live in those countries, they don't have the YouTube partnership program. So if you travel to a country like Rwanda and Burundi and so no, not South Africa and uh, Namibia, Botswana, you know, Swatini, Lesotho, most of these countries, they don't have the YouTube partnership program. Well, what does that mean? That means the videos you'll do there, if people watch them from those countries, they don't make any money. And that's okay because we don't just do this for the money or at least I don't, you know. So it's not a big deal. I still do what I do because I love traveling and I love documenting what I see and what I experience. So that one is one challenge I get over. When I go to some countries, like Jamaica gives you really good money. I made so much money in Jamaica. Uh, when you are in Europe, you make quite good money and everything. But if it was all about the money, we'd still be in those countries. He loves Jamaica so, so much. I love Jamaica more than I love my country. Why is the lie? Today's video is so funny and not funny at the same time. Would you believe that Coco girl is in London looking for homeless people. She left TNT and went all the way to London just to look for homeless people. <laughs> but now this is something that didn't sit well with most of our audience. She was very specific. She was looking for black people. You cannot tell me that black people are the only homeless people in London. That is something that uh, a lot of people in our comment section were so pissed off. Like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to tell us? Anyone could notice that she, she might be racist. Because why are you looking for black people? What are you trying to tell us? Because of course, we could see that there were other races who are not blacks, who are homeless. Why do you think she was looking for blacks? To show the world that uh, these are black people, they are homeless in UK. But then that is so damaging. Can you just imagine that everyone in the world is watching that video? And then uh, an innocent African or an innocent black person is just looking for a visa, maybe to visit, maybe to study, name it. And then someone saw that video. 
it's so possible for someone to judge you off off such videos at some point someone was asking her where are you from can you guess <laughs> she she claimed to be from jamaica when she met uh, some people from morocco she told them that she's from morocco and of course that is something that will justify or will let us know why dimwango is a wannabe out here because why is she lying why is she telling people she's from jamaica and uh on that point, there is someone with a passport because you know the Mwango always comes out here and tell us that we don't have a passport. We cannot travel. That is why we are jealous. Kenyans are jealous of her, this and that. Someone with a passport this time around came out here to tell us why the Mwango is pretending to love Jamaicans. Why the Mwango has become a wannabe out there? Instead of showing us travel content, she's out there. <laughs> struggling to be a Jamaican by one way or another, maybe on the streets, butchering Jamaican accents out there, just trying to fit and benefit from forcing herself to be a Jamaican. And, uh, we'll talk about that. I think you've seen it from the highlights. That is what we'll be talking about because it's so clear. It's obvious. It's very obvious why she comes out here and pretends to be Jamaican. And it's very clear why most people don't like traveling in um, Africa. It's so unfortunate. But um, now we know. Now we know why she comes out here pretending. Of course it was pretending because how would you tell people that you are Jamaican, you love Jamaica, when you've just scammed a Jamaican in Kenya and you're refusing to pay him what you owe him? Dimwango sit down. Today we'll be talking. Today we'll be exposing you. And we will also be talking about her Christmas list because he was invited to this, uh, I think it's a party. He was invited. Wow. We'll be talking about that because it was so interesting to see that uh, most TNT citizens support him. We'll get into that. So, are you ready for this video? Because I am. Let's start. So welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your presence. Just stopping by to watch and spend your time with us. I really appreciate that. So if this is your first time watching or you've been watching and you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing over here. Like the video over here and most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let's interact as we always do. So once again, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing over here. And uh, like the video over here and of course turn the notification bell on so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And uh, without forgetting, without forgetting, of course I cannot forget. Thank you. Thank you so much for 800 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for showing me the support. And of course this could not be possible with, without every single one of you. Thank you so much. It takes each and every one of you i'm just so grateful thank you thank you thank you so much and of course as i said it, it would have not been possible without every one of you just through your support watching the videos sharing your thoughts in the comment section liking the video thank you so much let's start the video because <laughs> this is just so funny can you imagine coco girl is in the uk looking for homeless people at some point she went to this uh, forest it's not even a forest a bush she was almost falling just trying to get to where these people are it was just so sad let's watch the video before we come back what's up man wow it's not good shoes for me to this hill what 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 i cannot <laughs> oh careful careful are you okay <laughs> i need to a... <laughs> i need to put a... <laughs> what's up my brother Hey. Nice meeting you. What's up? And what was so interesting is that uh, she was lying to these people that she's she's trying to interview them and, and uh, offer some assistance here and there. But now I was wondering how how would she help these people? Personally, I really don't think I did. I don't see how she could be of any help to these people because first of all, she went there interviewing. I didn't see anything that she gave them. Nothing. Just wasting their time, invading their privacy, and leaving. Very disrespectful. And at some point, she was going there, <laughs> shouting at the tents. Just shouting at the tents. At, at, she almost broke into a tent, just looking for these people. So that she can interview them, have the views, 
earn the money. And I think at this point I agree with everyone who always comes out here to claim that, to claim that she uses other people's misfortunes, misery to make money. That is something that I agree at this point because what is your reason? What is your reason? Other than just looking for views. And now let's talk about this. Why was she going out there looking for black people? Looking for black people, do you want to tell me that she could not find any white person? And of course we saw homeless people who are from London. We saw other races. We saw white people who are homeless. But no, she was very specific, looking for black people. I think she's just craving attention from us because she knows we'll come out here and talk. Because why would you go there looking for one race? Why? Of course you're trying to trigger. You're trying to trigger attention because now you're not in Jamaica. You're, you're not in TNT. Where else? Where else can you find the attention she was getting? Of course, she had to look for people who are not in their right sense. Those are the people she decided to target. A lot of UK citizens were not having it. They descended on her. They came to our comment section. Let's go through them and then uh, we, we come back to Dimwango being exposed. Why she's faking all these Jamaican accents, Jamaican citizenship, all this and that. We'll come back to Dimwango because uh, someone was just exposing her. So this person said, why didn't you say that you're from Israel? To the guys who are asking you where you're from. Because she was asked, where are you from? And of course she could not reveal her identity because, I mean, it's embarrassing. You're out there interviewing these people as if you're that person out there who comes from I don't know which country. But now I think it was embarrassing for her to admit that she comes from Israel. As we always say, start from where you come from before you go out there disgracing other countries. This person said, Coco Drama, there are no homeless Muzungus. Are there no homeless Muzungus? Why are you being choosy? Because you could notice she was looking for blacks, for black people. So this person said, Coco girl, don't come back to Jamaica. She replied to this person saying, send me your Instagram and I'll send you a private photo of me enjoying myself in Jamaica soon. Jamaica is home and, and you definitely won't decide for me. One love. So, of course you can see these are claiming to be to be a Jamaican, loving Jamaican, this and that. Of course, I, I think um, we can now see that uh, it's something common with them. Of course, they'll just use any country that gives them the views. They'll use these countries pretending that they like Jamaica, Jamaica is home, Jamaica this, Jamaica that, for their selfish gain, nothing else. So this person said, Coco is crazy. I pity the white guy going with her. She should have been left to do the crazy things alone. Of course, as you notice, there was that guy who was uh, showing her around. And I also saw the guy, the guy is okay, who you cannot associate with the Coco Girls drama. And when I saw that person, personally, before I even read this comment, I just felt for him. Coco Girl dragging him to, his, to this drama, he just got himself to something that he doesn't understand. He doesn't know Coco Girl. This person said, what you could do is go into Israel and look for situations so we could understand better about things there. I'm sure they are homeless, of course, but she cannot do. And something that uh, I've noticed, some people were leaving comments under our comment section. Some people are claiming that she will get pissed off, like she will block you when you try and ask her, like, what is going on in Israel? Are you okay? A genuine, a genuine supporter would ask her that, but she will block you. So this person said, Coco Gun, you seem to be looking and singling out black people as homeless, but believe me, there are more homeless white people out there than you'll ever know. So this person said, what is the point disturbing these people and putting them on camera by saving your, by saying you're an international YouTuber, by the way, that is the term that she was using. How will you help them? How exactly are you going to help them? Will you work with the government to rehabilitate them? Give them accommodation or help them? Get a job. Please, stop making money out of people's misery. Just respect them instead. Of course, that is, that is what Coco Garden Christmas List does. They'll go there and look for something. Use people, use kids to make money. Kids, use uh, the homeless to make money. I don't know why they are not cancelled. Because it's so wrong. Why would you use kids to make money? And so this person said, 
Respect people's privacy. When someone tells you that they don't want to appear on your video, cut that part out. Don't show them. Anyone with common sense would, to, would, would have told you that you're better off finding a homeless shelter or a soup kitchen and ask if there's anyone that doesn't mind being interviewed. By the way, I agree with this person. If there are homeless shelters, why not go there and ask the questions you want to ask? But now she was forcing people on the streets. Can I talk with you? And the camera is there. When you approach someone and, and that person refuses to give you permission to show them, why show that part that you, when you're asking them if they want to appear on, on camera? I think uh, that uh, when you ask someone and they refuse to, to, appear, to appear on camera, you're supposed to, to delete that footage when you are asking them. Because what is the point? You already showed them. And that is so wrong. You're going against their will. You're going against their will. <laughs> Coco girl should stop, honestly. She's stretching at this point. So, get around in London and you'll, find, and you'll definitely find out. Get yourself a guide that knows the streets. I think this person is just being honest with her. Find someone who can guide you. I guess you're not supposed to mess like that on London streets. Anyone who is watching this and is from uh, London, let us know. Let us know the tingle. Let us know what's up because I saw some comments, a lot of comments like this one. Telling Coco Girl to be very careful. You don't go around messing around in London because, as this person said, you'll get it. You'll get what you're trying to look for. I don't know. If you watch this video and you're from London, let us know what usually happens. Let's know. So this person said, this girl is clueless. Clueless. She's talking to those people. She's talking to those people who are under the influence, to those under the influence and doesn't know the law in the UK. By the way, they, they are not homeless. It's something complex. Go do your homework before you come. And I think this is the reason why they were telling her to go to an official, to an official homeless shelter instead of coming out here to question these people. I think this is the reason. I think this is the reason why. Because um, I suppose when you find someone in the streets, they are not homeless. Even if you go and check that person from Uganda. Looking for homeless. Uh, to interview them, try to help them. He appears to be very clean. He has his shopping. He has his phone. I don't think, I honestly don't think that person is homeless. I don't think. So, I honestly, I support this comment. Go to an official place that you can find homeless people. But of course that is not attractive to Coco Girl. That is not attractive to her. Because when you go to an homeless shelter, it's clean, it's organized, but now she wants something that's something that will attract attention from people so that she can have it as, <laughs> as a thumbnail. Someone on the streets who doesn't know what is going on. Because of course they are under the influence. Coco Girl is just shameless, honestly. So this person said, what is wrong with you? Disturbing those guys and making money off misery of people. Honestly, you need to be a Coco Girl. I agree. And that is why I said, when you ask someone, because of course you're supposed to ask before you roll the camera. Before the camera is on, ask them, are you okay to appear on the video? When they say no, move on. But now this is what Coco Girl and Christmas List does. And of course some people we know. We'll get back to those people. They'll come on your face. Hello, do you want to appear on the camera and acting so friendly? Fake, fake smile, fake attitude, just to try and woo you, just to make you, just to convince you to appear on the video. And the camera is already recording. And when that person tells you no, they don't want to appear on that video, you still go ahead and show that part that you're asking them if they want to appear on the video. That is not that is not being fair, honestly. I usually don't agree. People going there, filming people without their permission. And if, even if someone gives you the permission, make sure that you inform them what this video is all about. Inform them that you're taking it, you're, you're posting it on a public platform. So let's read the last comment, then we go to Di Mwango's situation. So this person said, this one had me laughing. I also laughed. This one is going around looking for homeless people like she's really helping. By the way, I agree with this person. I was laughing when I saw her like going into a bush looking for this for the homeless. And she was even clear. 
she told the people she was saying on that video that let's go to let's go uh to these bushes let's enter here so that let's see what we can get out of this bush what let's see if we can get content so let's go to d mango's situation yeah so let's watch this video because this person exposed d mango without even knowing when i go to some countries like jamaica gives you really good money i made so much money in jamaica uh, when you are in europe you make quite good money and everything but if it was all about the money we'd still be in those countries tell me if this person didn't expose d mango because i came out here yesterday and i was very clear I was very sure because this is something that we talked about it in the comment section. We had talked about it in the comment section. And that is why I was so I was so sure about this yesterday. We came out here, I came out here and told you guys that she does this because of the views. And of course this person is you so he explained that in Jamaica you'll make money. And he was very honest. <laughs> he said that uh, he made a lot of money in Jamaica. And that is why Dimwango is is going crazy about Jamaica because that is where he gets paid that is where he gets the views that is where he gets the best pay he gets the most out of it there is nothing like uh, loving Jamaica because of this and that because if you love Jamaica and you love Jamaicans pay jump to us why come out here and scam a Jamaican why come out here and scam Jamaicans if you claim that you love Jamaicans when you meet a Jamaican you pretend to love them Start from jump to us. Pay him. Show genuine love to Jamaica and Jamaicans. We will not leave you alone because you have to pay him. Why is come a Jamaican and come out here and pretend? Manipulate. Manipulate people to think that you love them. When it's all fake. Fake love. So, that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much for... 800 subscribers. I really appreciate you. Once again, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing over here. Like the video over here. Turn the notification bell on, of course, so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. Until the next video, peace!